Hi guys and welcome back to another Dr. Ace video and today we're going to be playing Superbike 22 and it's time to tackle Mazzano once again but this time with the Yamaha. Now I have mentioned a few times and I probably still will, I don't particularly like the Yamaha in this game. I don't know what it is but I just find it feels a bit sluggish and unresponsive. It, it doesn't work how I want it to work. However, that's referring to the factory Yamaha, the top rack and Andrea Locatelli use. However, this particular Yamaha, the GYTR Yamaha, I don't know what it is, but it feels great. And I really like the way this bike handles. It feels responsive, it's quick, it's nimble, and it gets on the power really easy. I don't know what the difference is, I really don't. It could be completely psychological, and I could be just completely off the plot. Or lost the plot, should I say. But honestly, I love this Yamaha, and I had to give it a try. I did it couple of races online a few nights ago and I felt really good with this Yamaha so I want to see what we can do in Mazzano the track I probably know the most here in Superbike 22 that alongside uh, Aston for example I feel very strong in those two tracks so I thought come to my one of my most favorite got the first victory here in the career mode in Mazzano let's see if we can improve the lap time the 131.3 was set with a Kawasaki, I do believe, but then again, I don't particularly remember. But the Kawasaki lap time I was able to achieve online and even in the qualifying I did for the career mode was around a 31 1. I think we can get into the 130s, but can we do it with the Yamaha? That remains to be seen. That's, that's another challenge in itself. But so far, first lap in, it's a 131 6. We're using the SC1 and SCX tyre. I'm going to change the tyres up as we go through this particular uh, time trial challenge here today. But I am keen to see what we can produce. I really am. I want to do a good lap time here. I did a good, lap a good few lap times here online. So I I'm going to push for it. And hopefully we can get that particular lap time. So into Quirchy for turn 8. A little bit deep on the brakes. Certainly could be doing a improving on that part. But now into Tremonto for turn, uh, turn 9. Then, then into Tremonto for turn 10. We're just gaining a little bit of time. Not a significant amount, but it's roughly there or thereabouts for the 131.6 as we now go to the right-hand side. Quick up shift to 6, drop it back down to 5th just to help you move the bike over to the right-hand side, and then go into turn 12 and 13 as tight as you can. Now I can see already that we are losing a bit of time compared to the uh, previous lap time, which was set a couple of weeks ago, I think, that 131.9. But we are just getting used to things. A couple of tweaks here and there and maybe a change of tyres could be the answer to get us into the 130s and if we could do it with the Yamaha that would be even more special it really would but across the line it is a 131.8 so we actually went slower this time around so maybe the SC1 and SCX combo is not going to get the job done I do want to try the DX1 and maybe the D4 front tried those a couple times online I do find that the DX1 is a good option to have if you're quite strong on the acceleration. And speaking of being strong on the acceleration, I have recently changed over to TCS1 on the Yamaha, and I found that's made a big difference. It works extremely well with the Ducati, and it is looking pretty strong with the Yamaha. Yes, you're gonna be a bit more tire wear. Yes, it's a little bit more risky getting on the power early, but I do find it helps us just projectile out of the corners, and that's sometimes that bit that we lose when we're playing online to the likes of Sacred Meerkat and some of the other fast riders, even Fuchs and the others as well. Now it was actually Meerkat's tip to reduce the TCS, so here it is in effect today. So if you are looking for a bit of additional speed, give TCS1 a try. It could be the traction control to change your life. Might be a bit dramatic, but you never know. So into the right hander for Caro for 14, a little bit wide this time around, so it's not going to be indicative of the final performance, but we're still pretty close to improving the lap time here, so firm on the anchors will go for Mizano, keep it in as tight as you can, not really how I would have wanted to do that, upshifted a little bit too quickly as well, so across the line it's not going to be an improvement, so let's try out a different tyre. So this time around we got the D1, I think I was meant to say the D1 earlier and I said the D4, so the D1 maximises middle corner grip over braking and stopping power. So if you prefer a tyre that really helps you brake firmly, the SC1's probably your favourite. 
but I'm looking for a tyre that helps me get around these corners with a bit more grip, a bit more stability and a bit more speed. There being a lot of fast corners here in Misano, I think this tyre could be the optimum one. So D1 and SCX combination for now. And then we'll test the water with the D1 and the DX1 rear tyre. Now the DX1 rear tyre, if you're not aware, does help with not spinning up the rear as much coming on the exit of corners. So if you're bringing on the power quite aggressively and abruptly, it does have that little bit more grip so you can push it around a little bit more, especially around the side of the tyre as well. So if you want to get on that power early, DX1 is a, is a good choice, but at the same time, I don't think it's really as consistent and as grippy as the SCX because you still do end up burning it up quite a lot. It's one of those development tyres you've got to try, so give it a shot and let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And of course, guys, if you are still enjoying the content, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing as well. If we haven't hit 5k already, then why not subscribe to get us to that 5k marker? But uh, into Mazzano for the final corner, we should be improving the lap time now and doing one better by getting ahead of the 131.3 and across the line it is it's a 131.134 here in Mazzano on board the Yamaha so my fastest lap ever in Mazzano currently I think by a couple of thousand of a second is courtesy of the Yamaha didn't see that coming for the bike I've slagged off for quite a while now and said that it's not really that competitive in Superbike 22 has proven me wrong here or at least this particular Yamaha I still don't know how I feel about the main Factory Yamaha with the uh, Pata Superbike. <laughs> I just don't know, it just doesn't seem work to work well for me, but from lap 5 onwards now, we're going to be using another combination of tyres. We're going to see how we do well with this one, but I I'm really keen to see how the DX1 gets on, so I'll probably give it another lap and then try it, because I just I want to give it a bash. It's what I use online, and I want to see if it can correlate here to our own time trial session but so far pushing the power on coming out of Tremonto they see the bike squirming under pressure as we now go to the right hand side stay in fifth gear as long as you can and upshift into six I, I did try both methods in going into that particular corner into the Cavone corner I wanted to get the most amount of speed there but I couldn't decide whether being in fifth and exchanging up to six and dropping it back down to fifth or just hitting the rev limiter at the fifth gear I have change the transmission by making the fourth gear and fifth gear just one increment longer maybe that's going to be the difference maker i don't know definitely try things out and let me know keen to see how you guys get on with this one so now the tire i've been looking forward to doing the d1 and the dx1 tire i'm really keen to see what we can do with this one i really am but i mustn't neglect the fact that we were only a tenth of a second difference between the, the previous tire then a 131.134 and a 131.234, so it's just one tenth slower with that other tyre combination of the D1 and the SCX. So is the DX1 going to do that much better? I hope so. We cannot be that close to the next increment of second without getting into the 130s. I would be very disappointed if we don't get into the 130s by this point. I'm pushing, <laughs> I'm certainly giving it everything we can. So far so good as well, not making too many mistakes, just a couple of mistakes here and there, but nothing particularly glaring, so that is pretty solid stuff from us, but bringing on the power, look how nice and tidy we were with the DX1, not really slipping and sliding as much as I would have imagined, and of course comparing it to the SC1 and the SCX tyres, I found that we were looking a little bit stronger coming out of Tremonta there, but now it's 13 for the tightest apex of the corner, if we could possibly do, we're up by a tenth. We're up by a tenth. That could get us really close to the 130s, but it won't be in it. It'll be close. So we've just got to keep on pushing. Don't abuse the rumble strip there because it's a bit of a deadly one, but into the tight apex for turn 16 for Mazzano, bringing on the power court on the rumble strip across the line. This should be an improvement. Oh, it's not enough. It's a 131.067, and unfortunately, during the excitement of me thinking I got it, I went so wide into turn one, so... Back to the old restart flying lap and back to it once more. It's our fourth run and we're on lap seven. Is this the lap to put us into the 130s? So coming out to the Rio corner, run it a little bit wide, then bring it back in tight to turn five. Change direction to the left hand side for turn six. Almost running onto the green there, but up by a tenth and a little bit. A tenth and what, what, tenth and two five? It's pretty good. But now it's a quirky firm on the brakes. We'll go, we're giving it everything we've got on that front tyre and keeping it in really tight for the apex there. 
Lost a little bit of time. I know you can go wider there, but I prefer that tie to apex. I just feel more comfortable doing it that way around. But now into Tremonto, a little bit eager on the brakes there. Once again, just wanting too much out of the front tyre. The D1 not really preferring that hard braking, and more of a gentle braking style suits the D1 tyre. But firm into the right-hand side now into turn 12. Get on the brakes and get it lent over as much as you can for 13. Downshifting to first there is a big mistake, and sometimes I do make that habit of downshifting there for no need. And unfortunately, that time around I did make that mistake, and it's made quite a difference. We're still on a good lap nonetheless, but dropping down to first gear kind of messed up the things there for us. So it's down to us now to get really close to the rumble strip, abusing as much as we possibly can with that one. But it's still a brilliant lap time. From one, from lap four onwards, it's a 131.1, a 131.2, a 131 flat almost, a 131.2. It's good quality lap times here in Mazzano. Is this the lap? Lap eight. Does it beckon a 130? Really tight to turn four this time around. Turn five coming up now. Tight to the apex once again. Tight to the apex turn six to get another trifecta of tight apexes. Up by two tenths of a second, but we didn't quite get the exit speed there. So into Quirchia, letting the fifth gear scream on as we go into turn eight, keeping it nice and tight once again. Bring on the power, bring it on early this time around. We've got that DX1 tyre. Why not burn it up a little bit? Why not use it all? 58 thousandth of a second we are up into the second split up by the Marco Simoncelli number of lap times there as we now bring on the power going to go up into sixth gear or do we leave it in fifth I never know what to do drop it back down to fifth bring on the power back into sixth into turn 12 or up by a tenth I'm really keen to see what we can do in this split here we're all really close to the rumble strip there nine thousandth of a second we lost by touching that curb that is brutal isn't it that's how close these lap times are right now. One little mistake will just ruin the whole thing. Really close to running off the circuit there, but firm on the brakes will go for the Mazzano corner. Nice and tight to the apex. Use that rumble strip if you can. And I'll tell you what, guys, this could be it. Across the line, it is. It's a 1.30.868, my fastest lap time ever here in Mazzano, set with the Yamaha. Who would have thought it? So, guys, that's that then. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I do hope you enjoyed the lap times and this display of the Pirelli circuit of the Emilia Romagna round here in Mazzano. But I tell you what, I am really happy with those lap times. We've got a second deviation from the first lap with the 131.8, or excuse me, 131.6, to the slowest of a 131.8, to the fastest of a 138. Brilliant. Really happy with those lap times, and I hope you guys enjoyed that even half as much as I did. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below what's your fastest lap time here in Mazzano. Have a quick go, see what you think. Let me know what you think of the tyres and combination I've chosen today. And upon that note, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching as always, guys. It's been a pleasure, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.